So before we start this presentation, I just want to let you guys know that I have a stutter. I have a speech impediment. So then like if I stutter, uh, that's why. Um, and that kind of ties in with our topic, uh, which is stuttering. So I am uh, Lorenzo and we have C Caleb, Hayante, and Autumn. Stuttering is an interruption in the flow of speech production characterized by specific types of disfluencies, which are can be repetitions, prolongations, and blocks. The three most important facts we learned were that underlying mental conditions were often just as important to address as the primary characteristics of stuttering, that it is important to access intervention for stuttering as early as possible, and that support groups can be helpful for those with stutters. Treatments for stuttering are available to people. Speech therapy allows you to work with a speech language pathologist and develop skills to meet goals. Support groups can bring a sense of community and realization that you are not alone. Support groups can greatly help the emotional and psychological side of stuttering. Throughout this project, my understanding of stuttering changed. Initially, I knew disruptions in fluency characterized stuttering, but I didn't consider how stuttering impacted others socially. This project will impact my future career as a speech therapist because it brought awareness to me about the complex mental needs of a person who stutters. I feel like this project helped me understand what it's like for those who stutter on a deeper level and it will help me better accommodate them. So, through this project, I learned that male sex are more likely to acquire stuttering than female. Fist clenching and facial grimace like eye blinks and lips or mouth tremor are secondary characteristics I found really common when observing stuttering individuals, but avoidance behaviors like avoiding certain words is something new for me. This new insights of stuttering can bring to the openness about this disorder, and as a future SLP, I will carefully think that it can impact other areas, including speech and language impairments, and also need to make a accurate diagnosis. So if I need to, if I need other healthcare professional, professionals like psychiatrists or another professions, I can just address it accurately. Psychological aspects can also be impacted that I should consider that. After completing this project, I have further developed my knowledge about the disorder along with how it affects the individuals who have a stutter. I never would have thought twice about the sheer amount of psychological and social distress having a stutter deems on an individual. After researching stuttering, I have come to a plethora of realizations that will ultimately not only give me the skills to successfully treat patients who have a stuttering disorder, but give me the skills to be better suited to handle any patient I might deal with. Having the insight I do now on the subject, my attitude towards stuttering and people who have it remain the same. I believe we need to advocate for the individuals who can't for themselves. So my so my attitude um, towards stuttering is very personal with me. Um, I have a stutter and I know what it's like to stutter in front of your family, in front of your friends and also in front of your peers. Um, I went to speech therapy my whole life, and I deeply resonate with people who stutter. Um, I am going to set an example uh, for other people who stutter by becoming a speech language pathologist and doing cool, impactful things in my career. Uh, my experiences will help me with my career as an SLP. I am a very in touch with the culture and the emotional side of stuttering. Um, I am my own speech language pathologist. I am my own first patient. Um, so, you know, my engagement with other people who stutter is very important to me and it's very special. Um, I am super happy that uh, there's awareness and and understanding is happening with stuttering. I will continue to have experiences with my stutter if it's positive 
or negative and and my attitude towards stuttering will always be inspiring and uh, leading uh, by example for other people who stutter. Searching stuttering deepened my empathy and understanding of the challenges faced by individuals who stutter. Initially, I may have seen stuttering as simply a speech disorder, but through the research, I've come to realize its complexity involving psychological, social, and emotional aspects. My attitude shifted from focusing on fluency to appreciating the importance of communication in all its forms and the value of listening. I feel a greater desire to advocate for inclusivity and support for those who stutter. This project has inspired me to gain more knowledge on stuttering and more respect on the matter. And that's it. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us through our emails. Thank you.